Welcome to today's Big Brother 16 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is JC122994, aka John. Thank you so much for watching all of our videos. I'm glad you enjoy them. Okay, so if you want to be house guest of the day, send me a private message on YouTube. Alright, so just a quick little recap because I'm still so upset about it. Yesterday they had the power veto ceremony and Victoria used the veto on herself, so she's off the block and Cody nominated Donnie in her place. Cody, you dingus, what are you doing? Have you guys noticed that Zach uses the word dingus a lot and it's like spreading around the house? Well, I find myself using that a lot now too. So thanks Zach. Cody's a dingus. So Donnie is being like totally cool about it. I would be losing my S because Cody told him like right before the ceremony that he wasn't going to put him up, and then he put him up. So everyone has been reassuring Donnie, like, look, man, you're safe, it's going to be like a unanimous vote, you're fine. So Donnie's just like, we'll see, I knew it was going to happen. So meanwhile, the former Bomb Squad members slash detonators are all thanking Cody for putting the Alliance first, and they're just telling him how smart of a move it was and how courageous he was to do it. Just stop lying. It's just lame. So anyway, Brittany and Cody had a little chat after the ceremony. Brittany was like, I deserve to be here more than some of the other people, aka Victoria, Nicole, and Zach, and others. Um, guess what, Brittany? They're not on the block, and you are. So... That ship has sailed. Um, but she warns Cody about being in such a huge alliance. She's like, what is the point of that? You're in like a whole house alliance. What are you going to gain from that? She makes a good point. Um, but she doesn't know about Cody's other side alliances. But still, why would you want to be in an alliance with the whole house? It's ridiculous. So apparently, <laughs> Amber said something to Caleb along the lines of, if you eat a pickle, I'll go on a date with you, or at least that's how it registered in Caleb's mind. Now this so may sound really ridiculous to a lot of you, because it is, um, but apparently Caleb just hates pickles so much, so it's like a really big ordeal. He's really sacrificing a lot to go on a date with her. So he's like, yeah, I, I really hate pickles, but I'm going to do it. So he eats the pickle. This is so sad. I really don't think she cares, and I'm pretty sure that's not what she said in the first place. They were talking about it. Somebody, I think Jocasta was saying, like, that's not what she said. It's just really sad. So, yeah, that happened. Um, but anyway, Donnie and Jocasta had a little strategy chat, and Donnie points out, hey, there are four people left in this house who have not been on the block at all yet. It's a little suspicious. Christine, Cody, Frankie, and Derek. All just sitting pretty relaxing. Um, yeah, you make a really good point, Donnie. I think Donnie has such a good read on what's going on alliance-wise in the house, but he doesn't have anyone with him who's, like, willing to make big moves and, like, who's able to win competitions and, like, go through with these plans, so it kind of sucks. And I think he does have the ability to win an HOH competition, but... It, I, he just doesn't have the support and it sucks but imagine if those were the four nominees next week that would be awesome so Brittany has been spending a lot of time with Cody since the power veto ceremony um, she was napping in the HOH, HOH bed all day with him and people were getting really pissy about it they're like oh Brittany thinks that she can just go and spend all this time with Cody like she did with Devin and she'll be safe and bleh. so there's lots of and lots of Britney bashing going on going around the house. Um, I think they're also really pissed because Britney does a ton of the cooking and cleaning in the house. So while she was doing her soccer punishment, she couldn't do that, and she was still recovering from the soccer punishment, so she hasn't been cleaning up after everyone else in the house, so other people actually had to clean up after themselves, so I think they're a little bit bitter about that, and it's really gonna suck for them when she gets voted out. I think Amber, her shoulders are gonna, like, crush under all the pressure of doing everyone else's housework once Britney's gone. 
But anyway, uh, in other news, Christine has like this nasty, gross bug, possibly spider bite on her leg. It was like changing colors and stuff. So she got it checked out in the diary room, and I'm pretty sure they gave her medicine. <laughs> Moving on. Hayden, only like four weeks in, has accomplished his goal for the summer. What's he going to do now? And his goal was to walk across the length of the backyard on his hands. Dream big, Hayden. Dream big. So he did it, and now he's got to come up with a new goal, and I'm pretty sure he said it was to walk all the way across and back on his hands. Again, excellent, excellent goal. Definitely a goal for Big Brother. So, <laughs> let's talk strategy a little bit. The detonators have a leak. We have a leak. Um, Victoria pulled Derek aside last night and was like, Derek, I'm hurt that you knew that Donnie was going up on the block and you didn't tell me. And he's like, whoa, who told you that? Who told you? So she, she tells him that Christine and Nicole gave her this information. Derek, you can tell, is freaking out. So he goes and pulls Cody aside, and they're just like, what are we going to do? <laughs> so he's like, this is a really bad situation, because if people find out that we were discussing Donnie going up on the block this whole time, that's going to be really bad news for our alliance. So Derek is like, i got to smooth things over with Victoria. So he talks to her again. They talk for a long time because Victoria is like weirdly clingy with Derek. Um, so he pretty much smoothed it all over. Uh, wake up, Vicky. You're being an idiot. So I really think that Victoria seriously needs to like step back and look at what's going on. I don't know how these people are all like worshipping Derek and trusting him with their lives. It's insane. So, <laughs> Amber and Brittany had a late night chat about Brittany's chance of staying this week. Brittany's like really optimistic about it. She's thinking that she has a good chance of staying. She's like, yeah, I think I definitely have the votes, but I think it'll probably be close. Um, what? So, she thinks that she has Amber, Caleb, Derek, and Zach all voting for her and possibly others. And she also thinks that Cody wants her to stay. So, of course, people are going to do what the HOH, HOH wants, right? It's Big Brother. No, Brittany. Just no. I don't understand how she thinks that she has all the votes. But anyway, Amber goes ahead, tells the guys about this discussion that she had with Brittany. They're like, oh, this is great. Just keep telling Brittany that she's safe, make her feel comfortable, and uh, she won't freak out. So they want her to feel like she's staying so they don't have to deal with her all week. Because, you know, Brittany is very capable of making a scene. So... I kind of hope that she finds out that she's going so that she does, but you never know. So the guys are all thinking that the vote's going to be unanimous. I think that's probably true. It's sad, but true. But again, it's not really that sad because I want Donnie to stay. So Brittany was really hitting the campaign trail today. Um, she talked to Victoria, and Victoria's all, I'm voting with the house, so we'll see. Uh, that's a big no. She talked to Nicole, and Brittany was like, Nicole, look, you're not my target. I don't know why people are going around saying that. She tried to clear up the whole bedgate situation. Um, again, Nicole's like, I'm going to have to see what other people are saying. Um, Derek, he's like, yeah, you got my vote, whatever. No. Um, Christine, Christine was being a little biatch. She was like, I can't wait for Brittany to come up to me. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to laugh at her face. So Brittany told Christine, again, you and Nicole are not my targets. I don't know why this is happening. I guess because of the bedgate situation. Um, but she's like, I want to go after people who don't need the money. They should not be here. This is Big Brother. Okay, so <laughs> Christine is like, look, Brittany. You play this game too personally, and that's really dangerous, so I don't think I'm going to be able to vote for you. <gasps> Alright, so I want to know, who do you guys want to go this week? Do you want Donnie or Brittany to go? Like I said, I really want Donnie to stay. I respect Brittany for trying hard and campaigning and everything and for doing that punishment, even though she didn't have to, but I want Donnie to stay. I'm sorry not sorry. So let me know in the comments and I'll have more for you guys tomorrow. And until then, much love. Edit.